That's right, alien isolation. <laughs> well, it's Halloween. <laughs> the bizarre thing is, I just finished recording tomorrow's episode of Mingles with Jingles. And in tomorrow's episode of Mingles with Jingles, I'll be talking about whether or not I had the balls to actually try doing this again for today. It's the, the day before I talk about whether or not I'm actually... Yeah, I get the idea. Anyway. Uh, so when you get to that point in Mingles with Jingles, you already know that I did it. <laughs> and, uh, and not only am I doing it, I'm doing it with a mod installed. The Aliens Isolation mod, which, no, doesn't give you a pulse rifle and 40mm grenades. It gives you more than one alien. <laughs> So, famously, the first and only time... Oh, stop doing that. I tried to play this game. Uh, I failed miserably as soon as I got to the medical spire. Now, I'm not that far yet. And I kind of know, or I knew, in the original unmodded version of the game that um, you're not really a threat from the alien until you get to the medical spot. I mean, you are. The place where I'm in now, the SysTech lobby, you can die to the alien, but it's kind of scripted. The alien doesn't really come out and hunt you until you get to the medical spire. But I don't know if that's true with this modded version of the game. Something else that's true of this modded version of the game, and obviously I don't know why I'm making things harder for myself, but something else that's true of this modded version of the game is that... Um, the alien is a lot smarter. It has enhanced sensors. And, um... It hunts you more effectively. And, of course, there's more than one. This is the light version of Aliens Isolation mod. And it only adds another two to three <laughs> aliens per level. <laughs> The only good thing is that you can scare the alien off with gunfire, which didn't work in the unmodded game version. The alien... Don't, don't you... Yeah, the alien wasn't scared by gunfire. You could only really drive it off with a flamethrower. Once again, this game remains amazing. That that thing was on the uh, the mess deck of the Nostromo in the original movie. I love how they've taken all of their design cues from the original movie. I mean, this is set 30 years before Aliens. You play Amanda Ripley, Ripley's daughter, who was like 10 years old during the events of Alien. And by the time Aliens happened, she'd already died of old age. Oh, hang on a minute. Where am I going? Stop doing that! <laughs> right, the Sistex... Oh, there's a map there I haven't updated. The Sistex Spire is up through there. Above me. And there are people with guns waiting to kill me. I've stolen their um, tuning device but it's busted. I need to find a date cell for it. This is the first point in the game at which the alien can actually kill you. Stop that! You're not scaring anybody. <laughs> oh, I remember this bit. So there was a point earlier where it's a completely scripted, you're not in any actual danger from the alien. 
Somebody's watching me. That'll be Apollo, the system, uh, the station computer. Device invalid. So how do I get in there? What was I talking about? Yes, uh, where Axel gets eaten by the alien. You're not actually in any danger there. It's a completely scripted event. Because I didn't know that at the time I first played it. But the alien can kill you here. So I think this... Man, the sound design in this game is second to none. If this game didn't win awards for its sound design, then there is no justice in the world. Ah. Okay, that's the exit, but there's stuff here. Flamethrower fuel. <laughs> Be nice to have a flamethrower. So where does this lead us? Okay, we're back in the lobby. You see, I know what's on the other side of that door. <laughs> this is one of the... Again, it's a scripted sequence. I know the alien can't actually hurt me yet. Although very soon we'll be able to. But I'm still not looking forward to it. That's the data cell that I need over there. But I... Okay, I've clearly missed something here. I need to use the tuner to get through that door, but the tuner's fried. Until I find a data cell for it, so... It's got to be around here somewhere. That door is just scenery, it isn't actually a door. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's right, I was... Then again, that door's locked as well. Oh. Key card required, okay. So I need to find a key card. I mean, I have played all this through before, but it was so long ago. a wiring system I can use to restore power to the computers. Keycard. Gotcha. Right. I seem to remember there's blueprints for stuff in here. And... Because not that it really matters, but we're here to recover the uh, the Nostromo's flight recorder, which contains a message from my mother. Ooh, dead dude. Great. Can I make something? Yes. Oh, hang on. I always found the crafting system kind of clunky. So, one bed kit. I was getting shot at by the dicks upstairs in the elevator lobby. make a med kit and use a med kit earlier. Oh, uh, I remember that room. <laughs> I think that's where the black box is. Yeah. Oh god. This guy's been shot. Oh on. What? Fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. You see, this is the problem. This is the problem, right? My my brain is telling me it's okay, you're not in any actual danger from the alien yet. My heart is telling me, fucking hide. <laughs> uh, 
And then my brain saying, actually, I heard something. Actually, hang on, you're playing a modded version of the game. Maybe you are in danger from the alien. Oh. <laughs> Don't like this. I heard something. Oh, there it is. Flashbang blueprint. Right, I'm going to make one of these. I hope. So using up some sensors, good. So you can use the flashbang to distract the alien. You know what? I'm going to start sneaky sneaking around here. Even though I'm reasonably sure the alien can't kill me yet. Sure, the stuff in there I'm going to need. Okay. Took all the sensor components I can carry. Oh, God. The flight recorder. Such a good game. What? You notice I'm not playing in the dark. Because <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Okay. Okay. Although it's not getting any lighter in here. Stay focused. Unauthorized access detected. Security lockdown initiated. Please wait for security check. Noise is bad. No, no. No, 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 noise, no, no, noise is bad. Shit. Okay, I'm... Clearly I have to do this to uncover something. Noise is really bad. <laughs> what we got back here? Ah, the data cell. Right. I don't remember how to use this. Tune up the system with the mouse. Use the movement keys. So we want that one, that one, that one. I definitely need to get faster at that. Kill the alarm! Kill the alarm! Kill the alarm, please. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna sit under here for a minute. You know, I can watch horror movies. I love horror movies. I'm just no good at horror games. Did the alarm... I'm still seeing red lights, but I'm not hearing an alarm anymore. Don't like noise. Noise attracts the alien. Okay, so we want that one, that one, that one. Definitely need to get faster at that. What have we got in here? Place to hide. Mother Corps to wipe it clean, 
or somehow the data's been corrupted before it got here. Care to fill me in on why this was a priority job? No, 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 no. No, alarms are bad. Can I not kill the alarms from here? This is the security. No, there's no power. And I haven't seen a rewire terminal anywhere to divert power. Oh. And the music isn't helping. Give me a break. Oh, for. Vents again. I know what's coming. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I don't like it. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing useful there. Nothing useful there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Some stuff. I'm going to make a noisemaker, a flashbang, another one. Oh, if you're wondering why I'm delaying going over there and turning off the security alarms, there's a fucking good reason for that. <laughs> because I know what's coming. And knowing that it's coming doesn't make it any easier. On the bright side, we seem to have confirmed that even though this game is modded to put more aliens in. That only seems like it's going to be a factor once I get to medical and the game itself properly actually begins. Oh. Okay. There's no sense in delaying it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. God no. <laughs> Fuck no. Hide, Amanda. Oh shit. It can kill you at this point. <sighs> and I don't have the motion tracker yet. And, um... I... I don't know... 
whether or not I gotta be honest with you I don't think I'm gonna be doing a full playthrough yet <laughs> but I don't know whether or not the modded version of the game that I've got installed is actually going to kick in now. Is there just the one alien here in the Sistec Spire? Is there more than one? Does this one alien have the enhanced sensors that the mod gives to the alien? Oh... Don't like this man. Yeah, you should play Alien Isolation again for Halloween. It'll be fun. I don't know how much more of this I can do. <laughs> now there are people with guns up here. I mean, I've got a gun myself, but I don't want to be making loud noises. Because that's a surefire way to bring the alien out. But I could... Use the flashbang. Um, that one. That one. That one. I could use the flashbang. Plus, there's... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that, that, that problem sounds like it's taken care of itself. Here's the thing. I have to get down there and use the tuner on the elevator door. And, um, yeah. And this music is not helping. God, I can hear it. It's in the vents. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. can use the rewire system here to generate some smoke that I can hide in. I'll just need to be faster than that. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm done. I'm done. That was that was way too I need I'm just gonna stroke my cat. <laughs> my emotional support cat. There we go. Emotional support cat. Thank you, Jim. 
yeah, yeah, sorry. No, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I was a fool to think that I could do it. I was a moron to suppose that I could do it on a, a modded version of the game with more than one alien running around. And I didn't even get to the part where there was more than one alien running around. So, yeah, no, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I should have learnt my lesson the first three times I tried to play this game. But anyway, I hope you've been abused uh, <laughs> at my expense again. And I hope you all have a great Halloween. Take care, folks, and I'll catch you next time.